I, I actually cop a little bit of flack from some quarters when I say this, but I really believe that aquaponics is easy. It is the easiest form of gardening I've ever done. Okay, you have to follow some rules, and the rules are that you must look after the fish, you must make sure they're happy, you cannot spray any pesticides or insecticides around, you'll kill the fish. You've got to obey some pretty basic rules, which once you understand them are just common sense. But apart from that, I really believe it's the easiest vegetable growing system that I've ever encountered in my life. And I've got to say, I, my dad was a small crop farmer. You know, I've had a long history in, in, in growing small crops and I honestly believe it's the easiest one I've ever done. Now, having said that, most people have a little bit of trouble uh, with keeping the fish. It's not uncommon for people to have some fish kills and some disasters. That's always sad. I always try to avoid that. Uh, but once again, if you follow some simple, basic, common sense rules, you'll find it's fairly easy to do. There's been quite a few actually, so it'd be hard to pick one. But I think probably my first experience is the one that sticks out in my mind when I purchased my first 100 fish. And I had never kept a fish in my life. I'd not, never done that. I had no idea that you had to put air in the water. I just didn't know. I'd seen aquariums, obviously, and seen these bubblers in the water, but I thought it was just a decorative thing. So I purchased my first 100 fish, put them in a tank, and uh, no aeration. Come down the next morning, all 100 fish were dead. I mean, at the time, it was very distressing. I look back on it now and laugh, but at the time, I just didn't know why, how, or when. And I went and bought another 100 fish and did exactly the same thing again the next day. It was then I started to ask questions about what was I doing wrong. So I hope many of you are not quite that... Uh, quite that silly <laughs> to do that first up.